Doc, where do you start? Defense? Yeah, yeah, but I thought offense was bad, too. Uh, I thought we fumbled. I thought we had no rhythm. And uh, we haven't graduated to the point where you can play bad offense and stay defensively. You know what I mean? Um, so I, I thought it was both. I thought our defense was bad all night. But I thought our offense, you know, that thing where you start struggling offense, you get down, and then you start not playing defense. I thought that was a lot of I thought early on we got open shots. Uh, and then I thought we press. I thought the, we played a little every man for themselves. Uh, not selfishly. I thought guys were trying to, to win the game for us. Uh, but I thought it was very little ball movement, uh, extra passes. Uh, I thought each guy, when he, he tried to make the play, I um, thought that was out of frustration. And I, I really thought they were pressing. A turnover is just sort of the result. Yeah, of yeah, that was a byproduct of that. You know, um, trying to dribble through people and, hell, we bobbled things all by himself. So one of those nights. Um, but I still don't like our urgency yet. Um, or honestly, and that's on overall just the game. When you watch us play, um, I don't like how we're approaching the game. And until we do that, um, we're going to struggle. Doc, it's still very early in the season, obviously, but where does, where's your concern level now with what's happening on both sides of the board? Well, I'm concerned all the time, but, you know, like you just said, you, you kind of said it this early. You know, if this was game 30, and we were playing like this consistently, then I would be worried. If it was game 30 and we've been playing well, we play like this once, you live with it. <clears throat> Doc, was it to a point in the third quarter you were just trying to coach good basketball? Yeah. Kind of yeah, about the yeah, score? yeah, I wasn't worried about the score. I was coaching a lot of things. I was trying to get us to be consistent in some of our coverages defensively, which we really never did. Uh, I was uh, in timeout saying three passes, which I haven't had to say that in five years. Probably, uh, you know, just make three passes, please. Um, and then I was starting to look at minutes, <laughs> you know, because mm -hmm. for the way we play tomorrow. Is there a team in Milwaukee that you don't have an all star, but they got a lot of guys? No, they, they're a good team. I said that before the game, and they're, especially they're good the way we play. Uh, they spread the floor and they attacked off the dribble. They stretched us out. And then on defense, they just sagged the paint and dared us uh, to shoot uh, or dared us to make an extra pass. And uh, we decided to shoot. Seems like there's a lot of shots missed at the rim tonight. Yeah, we missed a lot of shots. I mean, listen, um, we missed a lot of open threes, open jump shots. Uh, I can live with all those shots. Um, but then I thought we pressed after that. Um, and that, that's, that's tough. It's tough to do that. Uh, you, you just got to stay and trust what we're doing. Doc, you guys make a living concern, upset, surprise. It's just the way they played the first two games. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm, uh, I'm upset, concerned. I'm all those probably. Uh, you know, um, we, we just, I don't see the urgency yet. I, I at times think we thought we would show up because we have a lot of players on the team and that would mean we would win. Uh, and when you make this many changes, I think our guys have to understand you have to invest, invest into the team to become a team. And uh, I don't think we've done that yet. Uh, I think we will. I think guys, uh, their, their mind, their spirit is right. Uh, we got to get the minds right too.